All right, good morning, everybody. Now, this is a perfect stretching routine to do from bed or on the ground to wake up in the morning. We're gonna stretch all those muscles and it's also good for both sciatica and back pain. Now, throughout this routine, I'm gonna kind of be moving around so you can best see me, but we will be starting here, laying on our backs, and we are going to grab that leg here we're going to make sure our toes are flexed back towards us and we are squeezing here and I will walk you through all of these exercises as well so you can just listen to my voice. Again, really hug that knee, really squeeze that leg here and we're going to try to touch our nose to our knee and you might notice it's a little easier to do it from bed. And we'll go three, two, one, and just lightly bring that leg back. And let's squeeze our other leg here. Again, our toe is flexed back. Our leg is being driven towards our nose here. And we are relaxed. Rest your head on the bed. And we'll go three, two, one. And now touch your nose to your knee. And we'll relax here for three, two, one. And again, excellent job with that. Now I'm gonna just turn here. We're gonna bring our arms straight up over our head and we're gonna take a deep breath in. And we're gonna exhale and bring our arms to the side. And we're gonna take a deep breath in and bring our arms up to straight. And we're gonna exhale and bring our arms to the other side. Again, try to keep those arms straight. Just pull and feel the stretch. And inhale, arms are over your head. And exhale, bring them to the other side. And inhale, straight above your head. And exhale to the other side for the last one. And we'll hold it there for three two, one, and again, excellent job. You can just kind of let your arms drop, kind of rotate them a little bit, just move your body for three, two, one, and again, excellent job with that. Now we're gonna bring this leg up, and we're gonna bring it on over. We're just gonna hold it here. We're gonna hold it for about 30 seconds, so just keep your leg there, and listen to my voice. Again, you should feel the stretching behind your leg, through your hips, through your back. And with your arm that is closest to your toe, again, try to reach closer and closer to touching that toe without lifting your shoulders here. We're going to hold it for 10 more seconds. Again, really feel this stretch. This is one of the most important stretches we will do. And hold it for three, two, one, and just lightly bring that leg back to that main position. We're gonna bring our other leg up. We're gonna bring it across. And again, our arms stay right in that same place. Feeling that stretch right through here. You can really feel it stretch in there. You can flex your toe towards you. Try to reach with your hand. We got about 20 more seconds with this stretch. Again, really, Get the stretch as far as you can. Really feel these muscles working and stretching. We'll hold it for 10 more seconds. Again, reaching for that toe. And we got five, four, three, two, one. And again, excellent job. Lightly bring that leg back to normal. And we will raise this other leg straight up. We're gonna grab with our hands behind that knee just right below the knee. Our toe is flexed back. You will feel this pull right in here. Regardless of how far you can lift it up, just lift it up and relax your head and take a deep breath in. And exhale. Take another deep breath in. And on the exhale, really pull that leg and we're gonna exhale here, again, getting that stretch. And we'll go three, two, 
one and bring that leg right on down. We're going to switch it to the other leg again. We're going to bring it up. Grab your leg right around with your hands here. Toe is flexed back. Relax your head. Relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to pull that leg and let's exhale. Take another deep breath in. And exhale, pulling that stretch even further. Keep that toe pointed down and we'll go three, two, one. And again, excellent job. Just lightly bring that leg right on down. Now we're going to bend this one leg this way. We're going to put this other foot right on here and we're just going to pull it on down. We're going to hold it here, and you should feel this right in this area, right in here, very close to when we do it from the chair, but our one leg is just staying on the bed bent, the other one, the ankle is up at that knee, again, really feel that stretch, give your leg a little hug, take a deep breath in, and exhale. And let's switch that leg position around. Again, we're going to bring both legs straight first. Bend that one leg. Put your other ankle right up on that other leg. Feel the stretch. Give that leg a big hug. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale. Excellent job with that. Now returning, I'm just going to turn here slightly so you can see me here. Now with this, our both knees bent and we're going to bridge up and we're going to bring it back down. Again, we're going to bridge up, lift your hips as high as you can and bring it back down, bring it on up and hold it there, we're gonna hold it there, lifting our hips up as high as we can for three, two, one, and again, excellent job with that. Now I am going to sit on up. I want you guys to sit on up as well. We're gonna keep one leg completely straight. We're going to bend this leg as far as we can. So this toe is right here, it doesn't matter if it's up here or down here, but we're gonna reach with that same hand right on down as far as you can. Again, we're just holding the stretch. Use this hand to help support you. And really feeling that stretch behind. If you can go past your toe, go past your toe. Can't quite get there. That's okay too. Just keep getting further and further each morning you do this. And we're gonna hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven. Really feeling that stretch for three, two, one, and again, excellent job with that. Now let's switch it around. We're bringing this leg forward. This toe is right on that other leg. And we're going to reach that same hand on down. Again, feeling the stretch right behind here. Reaching as far as you can. Bracing yourself with your other arm. We're going to hold this for 10 more seconds. So keep going. Again, keep feeling that stretch. This is perfect to help relieve that back pain anytime our hamstrings are tight. That's what causes some of the back pain. And we're going to hold it here for three, two, one. And again, excellent job. Now I'm going to turn so you guys can see me. Now this is a very tricky one to get into. So I want you to follow exactly what I do. One of the most important things we do, I want you to bring your one leg just like this. Now we brought this leg over. I want you to bring the opposite arm, place it right here and just turn. And I want your gaze to go right that direction. Your toes that way. Let's look a 90 degree direction that way. Push with your elbow and just feel all of that pressure being released from your back from that perfectly restful night. And we're going to hold this for three, two, one. And again, excellent job with that. Again, following along, we're going to bring the other leg across. We're going to put it right there. We're going to bring this opposite hand across this way. We're going to turn and look at 90 degree direction that way. Pushing with that elbow, feeling that hip stretch, feeling that back, feeling our hamstrings. 
and our glutes. And we're gonna hold this for five. Good work, and four, three, two, one, and again, excellent job. We are almost there. Now, I want you to bring both hands back, kind of brace yourself here. Now, this is very crucial for sciatica. What I want you to do is I just want you to raise the one leg up and bring it back down. Now, raise your one leg up, bring it back down. This is tough, bringing it up. Bring it down, and now I want you to bring it up, hold it there, and I want you to look up at the ceiling. Holding it for three, two, it might be shaky, and one. Bring it back down and down, and now let's do our other leg. We're just gonna raise it up, bring it down. Bringing it up, bring it down, bringing it up, bring it down. Now bring it up and hold it there, and I want your gaze to look right up at the ceiling squeezing that quad and we'll hold it for three, two, one, and again, excellent job with that. Now right with this, both feet are forward. I want you to reach with those fingers, reach as far as you can. I want you to drop your head and look at your thighs, look at your knees. Again, reach as far as you can here and we're gonna go three, two, one, and again, excellent job. Now we have two more things and I'm going to stand up for both of these things so you can stand on up. We're gonna get our day going here. So standing on up, I'm gonna to come to the side of my bed here and I'll walk you through this. Now regardless of how high your bed is, just do this as best as you can. You're gonna bring this knee as close as you can. You're gonna put your hands down on your bed you're gonna push your back heel into the ground, feeling that stretch, keeping that back leg straight. Push into your bed with as much force as you can, keeping that one knee on your bed as well here. And we're gonna hold it for three, two, one. And again, excellent job standing up completely here. We're gonna switch legs. We're gonna bring this leg all the way into our bed. We're gonna reach our hand down. We're gonna bring that leg back and we're gonna push that heel into the ground. Again, push your hands into the ground, push your front knee into the bed, push your back heel onto the ground. We're pushing those hands into the bed, not into the ground here. We're gonna go three, two, really feel that stretch, one. And again, excellent job. Now let's just kind of march those legs again, get loose with everything. You have went through a nice routine to stretch out your hamstrings, your glutes. So what I want you to do right now is just kind of march around. You can march around your house, you can march around right here with me. I'm gonna march for about 60 seconds. As we get our blood pumping, we got our legs moving. Movement is key when it comes to back pain, when it comes to core strength, when it comes to sciatica. So with this march, again, lift your legs as high as you feel comfortable. We're gonna keep marching here. We're just moving our body. Hopefully you guys can see me. And we're gonna go for 10 more seconds here. And at the end, we'll do just a nice light little jogging and kind of loosen up your shoulders, loosen up your body. Let's crisscross here as we march. And we'll go three, two, one and a nice light jog for three, two, one. Let's do a couple of these jabs here to start that day for five, four, three, two, one. And the last thing, let's just kind of go through a nice front crawl here. Again, this is great for range of motion. And we'll go three, two, one. And back crawl here. Again, we're gonna go three, two, one and just one nice little march here for 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And again, excellent job with that. Now that concludes the first little morning workout. Again, I strongly recommend um, going through this on a regular basis. I'm out of breath. And that's a great start for the day. So again, do this routine each and every day to help with your back, help with sciatica, help with other things, or just to feel more limber, more stretching, more stretching means more range of motion. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you can see me through all of this motion. Again, practice, practice, 
Practice will make it better. And as always, remember to keep it moving.